You want something? He is coming with the clouds. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Take care now. Look at me like that. Got a problem? Yeah, what the hell do you want? Holland Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwards little burg. You've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, eh, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now, you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not, and yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. And, like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So, what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, a hundred caps, and Daddy's location's yours. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Eager, eh? Good. I like that. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling jet and psycho to me for a good price. 
Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground, like potatoes, and hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? That's a pretty good way of putting it. I think I'll use that in the book. Maybe I should credit you as a co-author instead of just a researcher. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? You got caps for me? Then there ain't no... Absolutely. Good hunting! 